Hi, this is Stuart, and I'm coming to you with my 2015 video Christmas card. You know, growing up in Fresno in the 1960s, we all sent Christmas cards and enjoyed getting them. I especially enjoyed getting the cards that had a lot of stuff from people, talked about things that had been going on in the past year. Well, unfortunately, I'm not able to do all that myself this year and put it out in the U.S. Postal Service, so I'm going to do this video that my son is taking for me right now put it on the website and share some things about what's been going on. Here within the office, it's really been a great year of transition. Uh, some staff have come and gone and the team that we've got together right now is really tremendous. We get along great, enjoy one another, and they're absolutely the best at really working to do the very best we can for the people that trust us with the things they come to us for. And that's always a delight to have a good working environment. The other thing is that it just in terms of work, uh, 2015 was pretty exciting with a long trial in this Greyhound bus case. And what was really good about it as well was getting to know other lawyers better. The other team I worked with at uh, Fowler, Helsel and Vote were just wonderful folks and uh, it was a delight to work with them and even the opposing counsel, uh, Dana Fox, grew a friendship out of somebody who was an adversary. Uh, and then as well, the legal community was very supportive. I enjoyed having people from Fresno show up just to watch the trial and kind of cheer us on. So that was all good. And I look forward to trying the case again since we're heading back to trial. In the meantime, there have been changes in the family as well. My son's now got a learner's permit for his car. That's kind of scary. But he's very cautious and, and uh, so I'm enjoying driving around with him. My daughter's in gymnastics and now she's got her back handspring perfected and working on more. Now, of course, if you know anything about me, you know, my main hope is that she's going to take up snow skiing and become my uh, ski buddy on the hill. And hopefully this year will be the, the big year for that. My wife, Anne, is an artist and she's come up with some really creative new ways to express art. And uh, as we get some more of that, maybe we'll share some of those things on the website. That's been uh, really delightful, as well as the fact that She's had more opportunities for ministry. Uh, she shares at the church and sometimes women's conferences. So if you'd like to hear uh, some really, really great deep messages, go to C-O-L-W, that's for churchoflivingwater.net, and you can find podcasts and look for those from Ann Chandler. Uh, I highly recommend it. I listen to them when I drive. Uh, so that's what's been going on on the home front for the family. And then it comes down to looking forward. What are we going to for next year? I've got some really exciting cases I'm working on. I'm not going to go into them on this video, but just say that it's always interesting how God brings different things our way. But at the root of it, and the thing that I wanted to share in kind of wrapping things up, is really what is the purpose and the focus of what we're about? You know, everybody's got different callings in their lives. And for me, I always look at it to say, what's God got for me in this situation in the people that I'm dealing with, whether it's at family, people at the office, clients, and others that come across my path. And I think it's best summed up in the scriptural verse that says, greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for a friend. And that's what the Christmas season is about. We have the Christmas message that Jesus laid down his position in heaven and the throne at the right hand of God to come and live bodily in human form, and ultimately, years later, to lay down his life at the cross. In our lives, we're all called to do things that require us to put ourselves aside and our own self-interest aside for the betterment of somebody else. And it is different for different people. That's the challenge that I look forward to for 2016. What are the ways that I'm supposed to be living my life in a way that's going to be helping others. And if you're watching this, I hope you just take a moment to reflect as well, saying, what is it that I can do? How is it that it's not just a matter of getting something back for me, but really laying my life down, that somebody else can be blessed as a result? And that's my prayer for you as well. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this, and I look forward to our staying in touch in the months and years to come. God bless you, and Merry Christmas.